Have you ever been in an ice storm? My husband and I were not long in Oregon when I experienced my first ice storm. We were driving, I was driving home because I'd been the one, I was the designated driver. I was driving home and everybody was going very slowly. And I said to my husband, why are they doing this? And he said, look, the rain is going down onto the ground and freezing. This is an ice storm. Drive very slowly. And we crept very slowly all the way back home. We were talking amongst ourselves about expanding a story. And in the middle of the night last night, this came to me, this ice storm. And I thought, yes, I remember what happened. We were on the I-5 and everybody was going slowly. Well, the I-5, people go vroom, 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 don't they? So I, I thought, I said to, to my husband, Roger, why are they going so slowly? And he said, the rain's coming down and freezing on the pavement. You've got to go very slowly so you don't slip. I said, but what happens when we get back to the apartment? We just got this new apartment and it was down a steep hill. He said, well, we'll see what it's like when we get there. So slowly we edged ourselves along the I-5 with everybody else. Then we had to turn off and get onto the road that led to our apartment, which was up a hill. And then we got to the very crest of the hill and our apartment was down and in to the right. And I chickened out. I, <laughs> I said, no, I, I can't possibly do that. I might miss. I had sort of ideas of, you know, just keep going if you go downhill. So Roger took over. He got into the driver's side and he inched us down, 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 into the right and where we lived. Wow, that was great. But the story didn't stop there, you see, because in the middle of the night when we were sleeping, bang, 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 all the way down. When we woke up in the morning, we thought, well, what on earth was happening? We went and looked and somebody after us, it turned out about an hour later when there was a much thicker buildup of ice, they had gone down the first bit and failed to turn right into the apartment building. Their momentum had taken them down, down, down the hill, and there were cars parked on either side, and they'd gone, whew, bang, twice, bang, 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 all the way down. A big insurance bill and lots of damage. So that story that started off quite small, uh, an ice storm in Portland, turned out to be a lot bigger for me personally. I was quite shocked and determined to myself never to actually drive when there was an ice storm ever again.